If you have an existing PLC5 chassis, you can easily convert the build materials to a control logic chassis using Integrated Architecture Builder. IAB is part of the Product Selection Toolbox. Go to the link on the screen and select the products that you'd like to download as part of the Product Selection Toolbox, including IAB and Proposal Works. Once the software is installed and the most recent updates are downloaded, launch IAB from the icon on the bottom of the screen and create a new project. Here we'll select PLC5 Migration Wizard. Add a new chassis. This chassis will represent the existing PLC5 chassis that you have installed in your facility. First thing you need to do is select the chassis size of your existing PLC5 chassis. Then select the chassis size that you'd like to migrate to. Don't worry, this can be changed at a later time. Select the existing PLC5 processor from the list of available processors and drag and drop it into the PLC5 chassis. Now select the control logics processor that you wish to replace it with. You can choose from L7 or L8 processors. The L8 processors come with an integral Ethernet port. Here we'll choose 1756L82E. Choosing the PLC5 power supply will bring up a list of the appropriate AC or DC control logics power supplies to choose from. Now I'll simply drag and drop the I.O. modules in the order that they exist in the current PLC5 chassis. IAB will automatically select the appropriate control logics card based on the specifications of the PLC5 I.O. module. In this case, the 1771 VHSC module needs to be replaced by two Control Logix modules to handle the same number of channels. Once you have completed the PLC5 conversion, click OK and let IAB generate the hardware list for you. Select the Project BOM tab at the top of the screen.
and IAB will generate a bill of materials for your project. Notice that the field wiring conversion system components have been automatically generated. And in this view, organized BOM, the components are in an order from left to right in the chassis. You can save this to an Excel spreadsheet if you like, or export to a proposal works file. Now let's add a couple more modules. If you have existing remote I.O., you can add a 1756 DHRIO card to your Control Logix chassis and use the existing D remote I.O. hardware in conjunction with your Control Logix chassis. This will allow a phased migration, in other words, you can upgrade the existing 1771 I.O. at a later date. And don't forget to throw in 1756 N2 cards to fill the empty spaces. Now if you select the Project BOM Builder, you'll see that the new modules have been added. Please contact the PLC specialist at your local Rockwell Automation distributor for more information on the 1771 PLC5 conversion chassis and the new line of Control Logics processors.